I go again, family. Dear Father, I just pray over this device that you just protect it, Lord, for your glory's sake, for your name's sake, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right, here we go. God bless you, please. God loves you. I've come here to tell you that we are out of time. Time is almost up. And the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And then this world is going to be turned upside down. First of all, the Lord Jesus comes for all who have ever believed on him. The rapture of the church will take place any moment now. When the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. Are you ready? Will you be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. God bless you. Jesus is coming. Lay hold of your salvation. Your salvation is not a process, it's a one-time event which happens the moment that you truly believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For all have sinned, all have broken God's commandments, and the wages of sin is death. That means the eternal separation from God in outer darkness forever and ever for everybody who rejects the love of the truth. Everybody who rejects the Lord Jesus Christ can expect themselves to find themselves in outer darkness in hell for eternity. And God doesn't want this. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that all can be saved. God wants to give you his free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All have sinned, all have broken God's commandments. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is ever everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the gospel is that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures that's the gospel that when you believe it's in your hearts you know it's true that jesus did that for you and you're not afraid nor ashamed to call upon the name of the lord jesus you will be saved with everlasting life You'll never lose your salvation because God will seal you with Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. He will sanctify you, set you apart as holy unto the Lord. God wants to give this free gift of everlasting life to everyone. you please turn to the Lord Jesus while you still have breath in you don't be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there get saved you need saving if you're not saved get saved believe believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved I'm not talking about being religious I'm not talking about going to church every Sunday. That doesn't save you. Going to church is good if you can find a good church. But most churches aren't even telling you. Telling you how simple it is for all to be saved. No matter what you have done. God wants to give everybody his free gift of everlasting life. And all you have to do is receive it by faith. By believing. Yes, Jesus was sacrificed on that cross for all our sins. Our lifetime of sin when you believe, and he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. 
And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and is justified, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Don't be afraid or ashamed to call upon Jesus. He will welcome you with open arms, no matter what you have done. He's only asking one thing of you, one thing only, and that is that you believe the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For all have sinned, me included. We all have broken God's commandments. We've all lied, for example. We've all cheated, we've all done things worthy of death, according to the Bible. The wages, the wages, the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, according to his word, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible says all can be saved. There is hope for you. There is hope in Jesus Christ for everybody that believes. Lay hold of your salvation because Jesus said, except you repent, except you believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus, you will perish, which means you will land in hell if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lay hold of your salvation today, if you haven't already done so. This is so important, because this life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever and ever and ever. Make sure that you're going to heaven. Believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the door, by me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, the father of lies, the devil, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. And he's doing his best to distract you away from the Lord Jesus so that you don't believe you don't get saved, and you end up in hell. That's the devil's job, is to deceive you. But Jesus wants to give you his free gift of everlasting life. And there's only one requirement for you to be saved. And it's not that you get religious. It's not that you go to church every Sunday. It's that you believe in your heart. The death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus for all our sin and call upon him. That's it. The simplicity of the gospel. It's not difficult. God has not made it complicated. He's made it so simple that a little child can understand it. Because God loves his creation and he wants all to be saved. That's what it says in the Bible. God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that all can be saved. No matter what you have done, Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away comes to him in truth. Believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. I'm just going to stop this. I'm just, um, I need to use the phone to see, see if this person's coming to help me or not. So God bless you guys. I love you all. I feel an urgency in my heart. I've got, I've got some uh, scripture verses written down. I'm going to have to pull them out just to remind me, jog my memory. And, you know, alright. God bless.